Welcome to the Numeric Workshop. This segment of the WBPL 76 is brought to you by the Night Owl Association, along with the Bear Diggs Company and viewers like you. Why are you here? Welcome back to the Numeric Workshop. This week we've been very busy. Parallax had a new internet over water host system installed and it seems to be more stable than his previous system which delivered internet over deep fried toast somehow. Uh, Squick is out for factory, normal human factory recall which is very normal and obviously happens. Uh, please refer to your factory warranty if you start to experience symptoms. And as for me, I still insist that Pogo Infantry is a good idea, depending on how you look at it. And as always, why are you here? Do not actually put the non oil Tonight, on your gums. No, what? Listen, no, wait. Just listen. Thank you for wasting your time with us. If you actually and now, do want a brown teeth and B, them to melt, sure, go ahead. But otherwise, hey, no no oil. Thank you. This has been a public service event. Why are you here? Power of chat compels you. Grumble about things. Very important announcement for you. Free Corn Thursday. Please don't do that anymore. You dare not defy their will. Booty George. Corn Thursday. <laughs>not Star Wars with Crow, but the new Merrick Workshop, where tonight we are going through and showing you the greatest new team on the Blood Bowl pitch, the Detroit. 
Blood Teeth. With Skinks, number 20, Mundi La Pointe. Bashmaka Shanuhan. Kiori Mopi. And Lok Robitai. And for our Saurus blockers, we have Sakal Fedorov, Baskin Hall, Skarl Yeiserman, <laughs> and Deus Haskick. Give it up for your Detroit Red Teeth. Red Teeth. <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> this evening's game brought to you by the Night Owl Foundation. <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> incoming high price. So, oh, 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 oh. So what what this is what this is, ladies and gents, is uh, this weekend I'm actually uh, participating for the first time in the Blood Bowl League, and I made the decision <laughs> that the gimmick for this team was going to be the 2002 Detroit Red Wings. Have fun with that knowledge, like, like you do, like <laughs> wow. you do. Um, just real quick, Maze Hughes and Victron already throwing bits at us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> now also gay gift N- Night- car as sub. So hey, Night Owl, get you you have to remember, I, I am I am simply the announcer for the Detroit Red Teeth. Detroit so Red they're, the, they're the ones that are getting the hype train, not me. We're- we're what two minutes in, and we're already. Two minutes in. Ah. <laughs> Damn. Damn. TSM. TSM. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here at the Numeric Workshop, where Numeric we workshop. are. <laughs> admittedly, mostly escape mental patients that somehow wound up on a stream, <laughs> and uh, we are here Escaped. for you. Escaped. Maybe they maybe they kicked us out. Let's not get caught up on details on who uh, details. Blew up the uh, uh, details. <sighs> Grandma, like you sent me pictures again that didn't have a photo format. Just attach the fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point uh, out this is not this is not Hal's this time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's bad when Hal is pointing out, hey, it's not me this time. <laughs> ah, it's not him this time. It's spring break. I don't know why I tried to <laughs> log into it and it said that there was a problem with your account. Ah. I don't know. Red teeth. There are, there are so many bits for the red teeth. <laughs> That's why. Always, <laughs> always root for the lizard men. Just lizard always. Men. <laughs> lizard men. Yeah. As someone who recently old survived ones. dental old stuff, ones. I old object ones. to red teeth entirely. <laughs> I just want that on the record. Lord Croak. Lord Croak. Lord Croak. Croak. Lord, Lord Croak. Croak. Now I'm joining in. Yeah. Ribbit. Ribbit. Yeah. What did we do this week? Ah, I think the only other person that sent me something was Cookie. What Cookie sent me? Ah, I sent you something. I can't read. <laughs> we are off to a terrific stop this evening. And it didn't update the shit. Yeah, yeah, it didn't update the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's try this shit again. Recent nonsense. There are workers so, of Mandela. <laughs> so, Ooh, I like that cookie. Thank you. Uh, I, I would just like to point out, um, to be entirely honest, um, there was one of the best pun names I think that I have ever heard that came out of me doing all of this. But now I'm worried. Oh, uh, my my, uh, uh, my boss looked at me. And he goes, well, you just better hope that no one comes in here with an orc team with a character named Patrick. Wah! It, it's, it's hockey, man. I live in the South. I have no frame of reference. 
<laughs> okay, Patrick Patrick Waugh was the goalie for both uh, the Colorado Avalanche and before that the Montreal Canadiens. He those was an team names, I those team those names are, are way too on point. <sighs> too on point. I what else did we do this week? Me. Cookie, you also made, sent me a watercolor, I think. Maybe it's digital art. I think it's, it's digital, digital art. art. It's digital art. Digital art from Cookie. I was watching um I was watching Bob Ross and was inspired, so there you go. Not I now, I'm you... just barely talking into the microphone. I'm going to... I sent you what I've been doing, but I don't I'm not gonna show off those pictures until it's in the mail. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it seems proper. Yes. It is a surprise to everyone that way. There's, there's no score <laughs> the this night week. Owl, the night owl of Warlock's drop trying to make me learn sports facts. <laughs> Wah, Gretzky! <laughs> Wah, Gretzky! Wah! I could spell hockey, but I live in the South, so like that's it. Yeah, and when you spell it, you're referring to something that comes out of your mouth that you've gotten out of your lungs. Yeah, yeah, that's that's actually uh, I guess spelled with the A U G H on the end, as as you do in the South. Yeah, as, as one does. Most of what I learned about hockey, I learned from Shorzy. Most of what I learned about hockey, I learned from playing NHL Hits Two K Two. Which oh, is to say, oh, which true. is to say, uh, I learned nothing about hockey, at all. <laughs> Lots about fighting. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because as it turns out, if you beat the ever-living shit out of your opponents uh -huh. in your penalty fights, then uh, those players are out for the rest of the period. Uh, you to, can, to, you to can whittle fair, their team down to nobody. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. That was predictable. <laughs> yes, it was, which is why I gave it a pause. Uh, but to be fair, um, fighting is one-third of hockey. Mm-hmm. Otherwise known as the best third. I do want to go ahead and say that of of sports that are not basketball, baseball, or football, um, hockey is easily the most watchable. It's more watchable than soccer. Uh, a lot of people are going to at me and say baseball. Um, I like hockey more than football. Yeah. Yeah. So do um, I. In my family, we watch a wide variety of sports. Um, NASCAR and Formula One. Ooh, ooh. We're, I didn't uh, know that was not... allowed. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Ducks one or the other. Ducks we're... getting that European flavor going. Oh, man, I'm going to tell you what. Go down to that American circuit, man, and get on that thing, or Las Vegas, man, and go zoom, 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 zoom. That's what they do down there, man, and get on that, that fast old car, and you're meow. That's the sound of man. I was going to say, I know how to write turn, but I don't. But, you know, um, but, yes, um, uh, if I drive that, I would know how to right turn, so I don't. I don't need to watch NASCAR. I think oh, it's no, a left it's, turn. It's, it's a left turn. Although there are turn? NASCAR, race, there are lots of NASCAR courses where they turn left and right. Bullshit. Brickyard yeah, or if nothing. If I'm gonna do motorsports, there's only one I want to do. Brickyard right. or nothing. Yeah, because it's at one that one of my friends and I actually talked about starting a team for. Rally. Uh, the, the, the Le, the Le Mans uh -huh. 24 hour. Ah, uh, the Le Mans 24 hour. <laughs> Here's the thing because. I did this week. And it's awesome. This is it was Baja, by the way. It's a Baja. I ain't got anything in Baja. That's uh that's James or Jimmy Dean from uh, Diamonds Are Forever, a nineteen sixty nine film from uh, the James Bond franchise. Oh my I think it's gosh. 69. Yeah. Yeah. Night so, Owl's at it again. So Night Owl. Uh, <laughs> Just a brief aside from the nonsense. Uh, <sighs> just a brief aside from the nonsense. That dragon looks absolutely astounding. Thank you. Um, yes, indeed. Eleven out of ten uh, would would be murdered horribly by it. I have a few different views of it. I was uh, working. To, let's see if I can actually find the damn thing with the stuff. You know that one. Uh, okay, there's the Kickstarter. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the uh, the link to the Kickstarter because the uh, guy running it sent me the model here uh, early so I could print it and have it painted for him to use his promotional material. But uh, ah. yeah, there's there's like a whole pa this model you can whoa, get. Whoa, hold on, hold on. What? Are you getting clout? 
Uh, I wouldn't say that. Um, oh, uh, God, guys, we, we all have to leave. He, he has me yeah. now. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. He's, he he's has paint cloud. Red. He doesn't need their very cloud? band of idiots anymore. Oh, no, God, don't don't leave. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Maze uh, Hughes gifting subs, too. Maze Hughes. Maze. Maze. But uh, <laughs> this, this model, if you have a printer, um, you can actually get this model for a $1 pledge on the Kickstarter. It's like it's it's not a small model either. Like it's it's fucking big. Like I might show it off here in a minute when I get the camera turned on, but it's Okay. I would it's like, like to point eight, out eight, ten inches across at the wings. This this dragon is a huge dragon. Not only dragon dragon, a huge dragon. The fact that this metallic sculpt looks amazing, the paint job on it looks great. And then the splattered oranges all over really just give it so splattered much character. Orange, you've hurt me. It's supposed to be an internal glow. It, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the piss a little bit, especially right around the eyes there. That looks... It, if I didn't know that was paint, I would have thought you stuck an LED in there. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say that the vast majority of this model was airbrushed. Uh, not all of it, but the vast majority of it was. So, like, the base coats and that kind of thing, that helped a lot, but it wasn't all airbrush. Like, I had to go through and do a lot of reinforcing with some uh, transparent paints to get the glow to look right and all that shit. So, uh, there was there was a lot of kind of mixed media work in this thing. And then, and then, I don't think White Rook is in here tonight, but Rook is finally back up and running, for those of you that are interested in such thing. Awesome. Uh, Rook Good. has finally got a computer operational again, so he has dropped his Shadow Hawk this week. Um, and some have already the, printed the, them the, and painted oh, them. The okayest of medium max. I don't disagree with you. Yeah, he uh, sent it to me to do the the test print since he at the moment does not have a printer. Um. Uh, uh, um. Wait, um. Guys, um, not out. Guys, Night Owl says, "Howls do not piss around the eyes. That is un- uh, unhygienic." No, but it's it's really effective in close combat situations. Because <laughs> it's sterile and I lack the taste. Um, yeah, but see, see, he's getting people sending him stuff before it's even out. Mm-hmm. He's got so much clout now. Why I does he so need us? So much clout. So much clout, guys. Oh no, I this must say- says pocket piss. Pocket, pocket piss. piss. Please, please, nobody redeem a hydrate right now. (laughs) All right. Well, you've asked for it. Now, to be fair, I I want to point out. I'm sorry. I I just I just can't be in a stream with so much clout. Uh, Well, I mean, while we're talking about that, I do want to go ahead and point out that uh, I'm not the one getting call outs in Rook's Patreon posts about putting hats on shit. (laughs) What are you talking? (laughs) Was I missed? Deeply, yes, I actually counted to five. And <laughs> par- par- Parallax, what I'm do you here. Mean call outs to like on his Patreon. He's got lots of followers. He could be talking about anyone putting hats on his mechs. Yes, how many of them have done that? At least one. Yeah, yeah. Which one would that be? Um. No more questions. Break your hands. <laughs> no more questions. Break your hands. Also, um, he's gotten so many requests for roller skating urban mech that um, <laughs> I had to sit the file. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I've actually got um, I've got a project in the works that's on the printer right now. God, I hope the printer worked because I had an error earlier, and I hope I didn't screw up my FEP. We'll find out if there's a mess in there in a little bit. You're what? Say <laughs> what? Say that again. FEP, F-E-P film. Okay, okay. All right, because the way you said it was not that. We don't want to get demonetized. Exactly. As as Diggs would say, like we were ever monetized to start with. (laughs) Uh, Okay, now I have a question that's been burning on my guts for a while. So uh, you should see your doctor. Yeah, that's why they remove stuff already. Okay, but this is more burning guts question. The uh, situational here. Okay. Okay. With gnome oil. Oh. <laughs> How do you get the oil from the gnomes? How many not gnomes no, are no. sacrificed gnome. for this? N U L N. It's a city gnome. in the in fantasy. Okay, so 
how, how you get the gnome oil is you have to lure them in with trinkets, okay? And uh, wait, for organic... wait, I have to interrupt real quick and point out the fact that there is someone in chat that just got their own subscription. Uh, I want to go ahead and applaud that person because they got in before somebody else gave it to them. Good job. I'm proud of you. Um, you did the right thing. Excellent. Good job there. Um, if if olive oil comes from olives, is that where gnome oil comes from? Yes. Yeah, it know, comes from and, olives. Uh, do the gnomes survive? Well, well of course, I mean, uh, it depends on how hard you squeeze them. Yeah. So I mean, sustainable. The I need answers to what. So, what you squeezing? Uh, sustainable. Um, <laughs> I'm sustainable the or gnome over here. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> boy. Sustainable gnome squeezins from uh, Digsbury Farms. Digsbury but, Farms remembers the, squee the gnome squeezins. Digsbury Farms remembers. I want to hear the rest says, of But Bismucky says it's only gnome oil if it comes from the gnomish region of Middle Earth. Otherwise, it's just sparkling gnome juice. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear the rest of Duck's thought. <laughs> You know what? The uh, freshly squeezed sustainable organic gnome oil is is gone now. Um, it was wiped out. I've got nothing left. I um, yeah, it was derailed pretty pretty hard there. Hey, who who uh, wants to see something? Uh, I've got set up new for the stream. Cool. Sure. Squick is the only one that has borne witness to this so far, and it's his fault this is happening. But but. Behold, oh, wait, did you guys, did you guys finally get together and um, fix your camera? Not only, but now we have close up cam. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Uh, Behold, close up cam. Okay, all right. Here's what you have to do. No, 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 no. I have to text you this. I'm not gonna spoil it on stream. Look at that. That is the second most okay medium mech. After the blackjack. Mm, the blackjack's more effective than the Shadowhawk. Correct. But but the blackjack's the most okayest. Yeah, I'm not saying the Shadowhawk is... The Shadowhawk is not more okay than that. The Shadowhawk is decidedly less okay than that. And, and most of its base form... By the time you get up to like the 5M when no mechs have any reason to suck anymore... Yeah, it's pretty great because it's a 55-ton mech with an LRM-20. But no mechs suck by 3060. Hey, well, Hunt dropped us a sex number The Banshee still exists, doesn't it? Yeah, in the, the 5S pattern it does. The 5S is a very good mech. Mm -hmm. It has lots of stomp, and if you if you ignore the exorbitant cost, which all good Lyrans do, it's, uh... <laughs> In the proud Lyran tradition of fuck the cost, let's go ham. Hey, listen, you name me one thing more Lyran than the way that I play Mech Warrior 5, which is to ignore uh, ignore uh, ammo cost and just send as much ordnance down downrange at people as possible until they go away. Uh, okay, okay, I, I can, I can do that. Give me a sec. Um, hi, Diggs. Hi, Diggs. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Diggs. Diggs. Happy birthday. Hi, Diggs. Happy birthday. Uh, yes, Don't also, worry. also, Bully Snake is there uh, with the other answer, which is the cicada still exists. Oh yeah. We don't talk about the cicada. <laughs> we, we don't. What? Behold. We don't talk about behold. Gentlemen, behold. Give me about five more seconds and I will behold. Is that what I think held. it is? What do you is think it is? is? Am I allowed to say it out loud? You're or allowed to say it out loud. <clears throat> the wide Tom's bean artillery. The wide Tom. <laughs> That's right. Because you've all heard about the long Tom. But how many of you have encountered the wide Tom? If this were Prime, this is what we'd be doing tonight. It's it's not, though. Um, so. I, I'd like to point out, which way does that go, Para? What do you mean? Like, if it were moving. It'd go this way. It'd go forward. Where the cat so, is. So, if it go that way, is that not literally the longest Tom? No, it's wide. 
you need to have both of those uh, hangers on I've actually, to the side. I've actually got another model ready to go where I have taken the cannon and I have dramatically shortened the barrel and made the uh, the actual uh, chamber down here like three or four times wider. So it's the size of the whole turret. So it is, what? in fact, more like a uh, a, a field uh, a field mortar rather than an artillery kit because it's wide. It's, is that a wide tom or a girthy tom? Uh, we're gonna go with wide tom because I don't I don't want to say I that other like one I don't like the loud. connotation of the other one. No, <laughs> no um, we got we got ourselves chode tom over here according to Housecar. Look, yeah. here's the thing. Girthy is a funny word. And whatever it you is. put the You know what else is funny? Tom Tom Bedell of the Black Pants <laughs> Legion. <laughs> Who no one threw a script at at all. No, nothing, nothing of the kind has occurred. Um, this is totally not something that I came up with like three hours ago and have been toying with ever since. I promise. Um, nobody look into that. At the and same none time. Of this... Okay, so. New thing, I, I say you watched three consecutive streaks this month and sparked a watch streak. Watch streak! Watch oh, streak! Man, watch streak! Watch also, ah. also I, I'd like to point out, um, uh, no one needs to look it up because you sent it at about 6.30 our time on the East Coast. That so, could have been any 6.30. Yeah, uh, could have been on any East Coast. You don't know. I could be in Gibraltar. Oh, let's see. I'm going to paint me a Shadowhawk tonight. What do you say? Excellent. How do we want to do LBX 10 Shadowhawk? Or we do we want to do, like, original Shadowhawk, uh, like, diet Shadowhawk over here? I now, no, actually, actually, better. actually, I do have one other option. Um, I kind of put this together, and it's Duck's fault somehow. <coughs> I'm not sure entirely how. Today at 5.57 p.m., <laughs> the Wide Tom. The Wide Tom. Here you go. Here you go. Ducks, um, this is your fault because you're the one that started adding stuff to Rook's models. Here is a, uh, here's a Shadowhawk with a hatchet because that makes it better. Do it. Okay. Paint we're going to do a Hatchet Hawk. Hatchet Hawk. <laughs> Don't hatchet the hawk, man. Hatchet Next time, that needs to be instead of just a hatchet, that needs to be a tomahawk. Ha! Tomahawk. Damn it. Now I have to edit the it's file true. again. It's true. Uh, no, no, no edit, only paint. No edit, only paint, yes. There is only paint. Okay, um, let's see. The I'm gonna... paint is good. Okay, oh, we're back to this. Joke for you. What, what joke? Make more! Make more! That's a joke nobody's going to get right now. Nobody's getting the that joke. The paint is matter. good. Hey, while I pick out some colors, um, the hey, Mad Ducks. is evil. Yes. Hey, Mad Ducks, um, what did I send you last night? What did you send, what did you send me last Oh, I was really sleepy. Um, oh, so you forgotten. I did not forgotten. Oh, good, because that book is still uh, coming no. in the mail. Uh, hold on. Uh, I don't know if we need to do this live. Oh, because... we're doing this live. Are we really doing this live? Ladies and gentlemen of the auxiliary and God bless normal people that are here for reasons, I'm sure. There is uh, no way. There, you, normal people. You right. are not ready for what's about to happen. Because as it turns out, First off, this was news to my wife, who's actually had like graduate level classes in old English and variants of the English dialect. Um, there is a dialect of English that broke off from Middle English in Scotland that is called Scots. Now, Scots mm -hmm. is a distinct language and or dialect, depending on who you ask. Yep. And there I is... There it's is a translation of Harry Potter into Scots. Oh, God. Now, and it's I have the best beautiful. thing that's ever happened. I'm too sober for this. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Uh, I need one moment. I'm, I'm fixing something. Hold on. 
Are, are you uh, sending beer to Wookie? Yes, using the wide tom. I dare not do that because I still have to drive to go pick my son up from work around midnight. After midnight. We gotta let it all hang out. Back to minute. That, that got <laughs> minute. really high. <laughs> oh, shit. How am I going to paint this thing? Uh, uh, Cookie, how do you want to paint it? <sighs> what are we painting? Uh, um, Shadow Tomahawk. Red and brown. That feels racist. Is that racist? Not necessarily. <laughs> Oh, if, yeah. wait, if you oh. use red, yellow, and brown, then it could be either a hot dog or Hulk Hogan. No, we're not doing that. Let's <laughs> play a brand new game tonight on WBPL 76, Hot Dog or Hulk Hogan. Ooh. Ooh. There you okay. go. Torian okay. Concordant. There Tarian. you go. Tarian. 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 Okay, we'll go Tarian. So we'll start off with... Chocolate, but chocolate brown. All right. I have fixed the problem. There was a... What was the problem? There, there was. Um, you're wanting me to replicate the accent I grew up with. Uh, so for y'all in the audience, uh, I grew up with a family that was... Um, Exceedingly Scottish. Very Scottish. Oh, cool. Oh, yes. Uh, so I grew up in, uh, in a small country town. Uh, so I grew up with Cletus and all them. And uh, then I went home and see Migranda. Migranda was so Scottish that he was mad. When he was mad, you had no idea what he was saying. He regretted for it because it was one long curse word all the way across the house. And my granny, God rest her soul, my granny was so Scottish, she bossed the priest around. He told on her at her funeral. God's honest truth. Uh, I'm not making that up at all, actually. And then uh, see me Aunt Janice. Uh, yeah, Janice married a Steen, great big mountain of a man, Willard Steen. He's a great big man. Uh, he's, he's a mountain of an Irishman. I never left a single soul on the side of the road. And so I, these were the accents that I grew up with. And the <coughs> fact that you can understand me when I speak is probably not short of a miracle. Wait, yeah. then, that means that you you feel that you've got the Scottish accent down and have everything ready and go... Uh... And uh, have per pushed yourself uh, beyond everything else because you can't under fucking understand them, maybe? Uh, I, in fact, I did not think I do. Uh, I did not think so. I did not think so. No, because, no, here's... Uh, you you don't think so, huh? Uh, well, what, what about if I were to tell you that you your Scottish accent's quite good, but you don't have the, uh, the right slurring? You have well, to go ahead and you have to uh, speak it without uh, any kind of enunciation whatsoever. Well, it's funny you should mention because I have a, an emergency bottle of Glimmer Orange. This is... <laughs> I'm really hoping that the next thing that happens is that Mad Ducks read you the back of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm pulling it up Scots now. Scots, because I was kind of hoping he'd regale us about the creation of golf in the meantime. <laughs> oh, Robin Williams, man. Yeah. I get, while you're pulling that up, I'll tell the quick no, story. No, damn it, no! You are not just doing this where you just lift a comedy act. I'm not going to lift the act. I'm going to tell the story about watching the act. <laughs> Bagpipes intensify. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Y'all, I only poured a double of scotch. I don't have uh, I don't have enough in me for uh, for where this is going. <laughs> 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 You know, there's all of the nations of the United Kingdom have their own national anthems. And it's kind of interesting to listen to them because, you know, you if you listen to the national anthem of England, then it's the song uh, Jerusalem. If you listen to uh, Wales, it's uh, it's a hymn. I've forgotten which hymn it is. I don't remember what Northern listen, Ireland if, is. If, if, if it's, you, Cal on land, you, it's not Cal on land, is it? No. If you listen to Wales, you can't fucking understand it. But the one for Underwater, Scotland, first of all, the the one for Scotland is the best national anthem that's ever been, because the national anthem of Scotland is "Flower of Scotland," which is literally a song about. Remember that time we kicked the uh, the English's ass? That was great, wasn't it? I thought it was Scotland the Brave. Nope. Okay. Flower of not. Scotland. 
You can't sing Scotland the Brave. <laughs> you can. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, it's Oh Flower of Scotland. <laughs> but in any yeah. event, it was great in like 2012 watching the Olympics from London where they had the the children's choirs singing all of the national anthems of the United Kingdom and they get to Scotland and it's just like, remember the time we kicked Longshank's ass? That was great, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, I, I particularly enjoyed that when the international coverage went into a tight shot of the queen as they were singing that. <laughs> that fought and died for your weaving hill and glen. The problem with Scotland is that it's full of Scots. <laughs> and Scotland, they ruined Scotland. And that's the same problem. Your Scots those... are certainly uh, contemptuous people. You've just made an enemy of the Scots. <laughs> oh, man. All well, right. Isn't that the main problem with like um, Appalachia? I will fight you, sir. <laughs> it's, it's full of Scotsmen. Well, Scots Irishmen, yes. It's Appalachia, and we're getting ready to have a problem. <laughs> well, hey, how many of my kin are there? I couldn't I begin know. to tell you, but I, I know how many of mine are. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm just gearing up for a good old Appalachia fight. Um. Well, as the know. T-shirt says. If you say Appalachia, I'm going to throw an Appalachia. There it is. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm also leaning into the meme, don't worry. I'm a desert rat. I think that I thought you were a who... desert owl. Man, make up your fucking mind. <laughs> I'm so confused. I think to any of you guys who were born on the wrong side of the Mississippi, much less the wrong side of the Pecos, you know, we got call... we got words for them. Yes, uh, but you're not going to start that me. kind of fight right now. Excuse me. So, anyway, back to the painting. Uh, <laughs> let, let's see. How many of us were born on which side of the Mississippi? Which one of us might be wrong? Okay, guys. Uh, reeling it back in briefly. Uh, very briefly. No, uh, no, I want to have this fight. Come on. No, <laughs> no, no fight. No, you don't. No, you let don't. Me see if, let me see if this works real quick. I think this will work for chat. I don't know if y'all are going to hear it or not, but we're going to try it. Chat, tell me if you just heard that. Because I don't think y'all yeah, did. No, no. <laughs> I've been working on that. I don't. Air horn. Yeah, they got the air horn. <laughs> Nerd, nerd. Let's so, see. Can I turn that? I can turn it up. There we go. I didn't hear no bell. I didn't hear a bell. All right. So there it there is. You there go. it is. <laughs> so uh, just Formula One race. Disregarding my co-host, my co-co-host, my partner, co whatever them. Disregarding the rest of the asylum. <laughs> Uh, to chat, I would like to apologize in advance. Uh, this is an accent I grew up with that I've not used for years. And I'm going to butcher this probably hilariously. I got to channel me granda. Channel him! Uh, the same granda that once punched a hole in a wall. Because he couldn't have found a stud. That wall had it coming. Aye. That 16 <clears throat> inch on center, you bastard. That's obviously yeah, but, 18. Yeah but, they, yeah, but they went and tried to do it at 18. It's not up to code. Anyway, Harry Potter and Yield Stone of Yield Sorcerer or something. Okay, I'm just going to read the white text off the back of the book. From Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stole, Stone. Stone. St the Stone. Stone. Scots edition. <laughs> uh, I apologize if anybody hears any of this and, go and goes, Oi. Oi. So. Harry Potter does not ken the first thing about Hogwarts when the letters start dropping into the doormat at number four, Privet Lane. The letters, scrivet in green ink on yellow parchment with a purple seal, are taken off him by his offy aunt and crabbit uncle. <laughs> then, on Harry's 11th birthday, a muckle giant with toothy hair called Rubus Hagrid brings into his life we some astounding news. Harry Potter is a warlock. <laughs> and he has a place at Hogwarts School 
a Caroline Craft and one Ockery. <laughs> I love it. I love it so And much. now, I, I needed the shot of scotch to bring, bring back Grandpa's accent. Sorry. Uh, now, uh, someone has sent me this book, and someone. I'm not going to say who. I couldn't begin to guess who. Can't begin to guess who. I hope I didn't butcher that too badly. I was Sounded lovely to me. I was channeling me granda. It the sounded problem. lovely to me. Oi, uh, the... you're a warlock, Ari. Uh, oi, you're, you're a warlock, warlock Ari. Ari. You're a lizard, Ari. Uh, my favorite thing is I can't remember the name of, like, they've, they've got, they've renamed the houses. And, like, Gryffindor's fine. Slytherin is almost the same. Um, I I can't Ravenclaw. Rem- Hold on. I'm not looking them up now. No, it's not Hufflepuff. It is, in fact, Hecklepack. <laughs> Why? I'm going to suit you under the Hecklepack. <laughs> Hogwarts is the Hogwarts. best thing in that. Hogwarts. Welcome to Hogwarts. <laughs> We're going to put you in Hecklepack. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I found him. It's Gryffindor. Slytherin. Hecklepack. Hecklepack. And Kruby Duk. Kruby Crook. Kruby Cook, Cook is actually my favorite. I oh, can't ever yeah. remember it, but Kruby Cook. I had a moment where I thought you started coughing in the middle of the word. Ah, oh, then I sort them in the clinic. Additionally, the sport of Quidditch is instead named Bizumba. Bizumba, that's all right. It's Bizumba. I could actually get behind Bizumba. Bizumba, because Bizum, Scotch word for broom. It's yeah. it's literally broom yeah. ball. That's what they call it. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I can get behind that. That makes way more sense than Quidditch. We're going to play the broom ball. One of those is descriptive. The other is a made-up word. See? I said what I said. Now, now here's the question. Can you uh, can you find the name real quick of the sorting hat in Scots? Because I know it's different. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hope this is going to back. No, stupid finger typos. <laughs> This is worth it, chat. I promise this is worth it. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. By the way, I'm also so happy we're getting Taurians tonight. Thank you for suggesting that, chat. Well, you see, uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to work up this one that has the LBX10 into something really Taurian because you know nothing says Taurian like an oversized shotgun and telling you to go back the way you came. Is there a way to rack an LBX-10 before click, you... Click. If there is a way, the Taurians know it. I'm so here for it. Ah! Oh, the Hogwarts Bletherin Bonnet? <laughs> Bletherin Bonnet! I put you in Hecklepack! <laughs> That's classic. Uh, the Bletherin Bonnet! Ari! You're a Gryffindor, Ari! The Bletherin Bonnet, the Bletherin you do. Bonnet done told you, sir. You do well in Slytherin. Hey, Voxel. Hi, Vox. Vox, I, I have no point. idea what the fuck you've walked into tonight, but um, <laughs> here we are. I can't. We can prove on paper that it is at least marginally your fault. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, here's the other thing. You can buy this book on Amazon. Absolutely. Like, it's there. The Scots edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stint. Yeah, it's there. You can get it. I I'm, may or may not be sending a copy to Ducks at this very moment. I was going to say, you're painting. How are you doing that? Question. I'm very talented. What's your question, Rook? Right. Is this available on audio? No, unfortunately not that I can find. Oi! Eh. Don't worry, I'll read it to you. Oh, that's the <laughs> stuff right there. He's going to put it on LibriVox so it's free for everybody. Aye. It. Nothing could go wrong. What could Aye. possibly be wrong with it? Aye, nothing can go wrong. Now, the weird thing is that in the Scots edition of Harry Potter, um, they don't go and have butter beer. They actually are just drinking scotch. It's the damnedest well, yeah. thing. What do you think I got from a... I mean, <laughs> when I was... What do you expect them to do, man? Papa just gave you that whenever you had a cold, right? Yeah. It's a hot toddy, and it's... Yeah. I'm, I'm... I'm not Alcohol. sure. Alcohol. It kills the germs whether you put it on your in ya. Well, yeah. I. Mean, let's be honest for a second. You're only supposed to do that when they've got the croup or the or teething or. Yeah, you rub the scotch on their gums. 
or colic or something. The croup. Um, they've got a bad touch of the heckle pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh mercy! Uh, there is no mercy in this chat tonight. <laughs> Used to we haven't broken is... 50 people tonight. I'm steering into this shit. Yep. <laughs> Let's lean in, folks. We're going to be here for a while. Okay, so we do have two water breaks. One that was half an hour ago that oh, I missed. Up a pet half an hour and ago. another we were talking oh, about a All right. <laughs> so, you know, drink things and, and pet something if it's nearby. I have. I just drank half a bottle of water, and I'm I am petting, petting I'm all petting of the lizards. Cat. I am petting all of the lizards. Okay, Don't okay. I tell you what. I tell you what. We'll go over to as uh, Squick has dubbed it, uh, Turbo Cam Three Thousand, real quick. And, Turbo uh, Cam Three Thousand. Turbo um, Cam Three Thousand. Caspar, yes, you can. We just we don't usually bars. do that on stream because noisy. Also, welcome. Ah, uh, uh, he's a good atlas there. Yes, you are. You are a oh. good little atlas. Uh, ah, that's creatine. atlas. Creatine thunder punch, right? Creatine McThunder punch. McThunder punch. <laughs> hey, Parallax, check the uh, recent work in the... Um, um I got... Okay. There he is. I wonder I who's it. responsible for such an atlas. Uh, Who could possibly have made such an atlas? I wonder if anyone in chat can tell us all about Creatine McThunder Punch. I wonder and if also, there's... T.O., I will fight you. I wonder if there's anyone here named Voxelforge. <laughs> you dare refuse my bachol! <laughs> I'll take your bachol, then I'll <laughs> kick you right in that... Sorry. Ah, I see the plan you've made there. Would you care to tell me about your wee little airliner? Ah, this wee little airliner. Ooh, I was wee say, little airliner. Shut up at the end of chat, but shut yeah, up, I, I, Here's This the thing. is turned I, into chat tonight where we just do this all night. I can't do the <laughs> accent, but I do want to do a reference. It's probably 15 years old. I'm gonna be putting your pieces of your back together in hell. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is me rug. I uh, paint it in Steiner colors. Aye. <laughs> they put, do them because in Steiner just... colors because you can see what the fuck they are. Because I can of see red or green. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I cannot have... see the That's purple, why... so I'm not the medic man. <clears throat> All right, so... um. That's why I use artillery like any good liar, and I don't have to see the red or green to blast Aye. them. I just blast that area Welcome over there. Welcome to Donegal, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> now get get you gone. I just realized that uh, my lizard men, um, they are not going to be able to be seen by uh, the, our, our lovely friend ducks here at all. You have They're invisible. They are literally invisible. You have stealth yeah. lizard men. Uh, Tio, I'm just going to go ahead and double down here on bourbon, and like we're going to have to agree to disagree. So uh, now I got to ask. I have to answer. For this fighter, is uh, Danny Glover pilot or is he the uh, bombardier? And is William Defoe the co pilot? Uh, it, we, this is an army of, uh, I hired the clans to clone William Defoe. It's all William Defoe. All Willem. Of Willem. Willem Defoe. Willem Defoe. Uh, We're going to watch was... Boondock Saints after we get off the stream tonight. Oh, there oh, was Lord. a firefight. Oh, there was a firefight over in yon house. I just want to point out that Casper Ghost has given me the idea to paint to print 3D print a uh, Cyclops. I'm going to type, I click on, I click on name. I type, thank you for the idea. Ah. Thank you for the idea. Acknowledge that. Thank you. I want to print a now. I All was right. just going to sneakily ask Parallax what color scheme to paint the next one because I painted multiples. Well, Ooh. I think the next one should be green and red. Okay. Let me see if I have a <laughs> green. Uh, it's I the Christmas a... fighter. Hold on. I have a red. Or call it uh, enchilada because green and red. Yeah, there you go. Well, I have this is bloody red. This is Chard Brun. Chard Brun. I've got. You have to use the Chard Brun. 
Cookie gets about five seconds in every ten minutes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie has to sit here and listen to this all bloody night. I mean, she was listening There's to no words rain in this bullshit in. I've got copper. I've got bronze. Bronze. Orange fire. What's that? That's for a Pokemon for my wife. <laughs> How and, you doing, Warlax? And... Haven't heard from you in about half an hour. And That's because <laughs> Warlax is currently uh, focused on uh, getting his stuff done. Okay. <laughs> he's no. trying not to pay attention but he's actually to the painting. chuckle fucker here in the chat. Oh no! I, I pay hey, attention. Tara, to move your either move your move your camera up or your hand down, one or the other. You are not centered in frame. You are centered right. in frame. Well, I am, but you're not. Hey, uh, I have elfic flesh. Elfic? And I have a, it's by uh, by Vallejo, and I have a Caesar, and I have an awful idea. Oh, good. Hey, that's. I love it. I love awful ideas. I also have a sepia wash. Okay. So can, can I, I can I point out the fact? Um, there you go. That we have just missed the Ides of March, so having a I Caesar see. being killed. Uh, <laughs> It kind of fits. It does. Yeah. It does. Do I have a Caesar on my desk right now? I know I you did know, have one. Did I paint it? For lunch today, for lunch today, I had a uh, Caesar salad. I set it down on the table, opened it up, took out a knife, and stabbed it repeatedly before I ate it. <laughs> As one should. Check the check the uh, check our little chat. Uh, I don't know what color that is. It says elfic flesh. That means nothing to me. Flesh of the elfic. That I... looks like a an off white to me is what it looks like. It looks like dead elf. <laughs> dead elf. Dead elf. That's the color. I have yeah, the Caesar. I wanted to paint. It's 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 sort of a okay for those of you watching at home. It's kind of flayed one flesh. Kinda. It's a little paler than this. You know what? I'll just copy and paste it in the the link in the chat, and they can be like, "Hey, don't be like that." Oh, I'm now right. told that um, the uh, BPL Karma train is going to get us if we don't let uh, Cookie get a word in edgewise. Uh oh. I mean. Well, I mean, the only way to convince me of that is for there to be another high uh, train because how could that possibly be true without there to being a train? Oh my word! What? My son just yeah. My son just sent a. A, a receipt that came out in gibberish, and he's like, I knew it. This place is haunted. He's at work. Yeah, that that's fair. I have got to get one of those little containers made for holding paints. Was it an like, ethically oh, sourced elf corpse? Is there, if you're a dwarf, oh. there's no such thing, right? right. Well, if you're well, a dwarf, no. there's no such thing as an unethically oh, no. sourced no. Uh, elf it corpse. Was, uh, that's what I it was, was for. not at all ethically sourced. Uh, it it was very inhumane. I the and, sea and just fell was, off the bloody tree. I we, can't speak to what happened to him after that. Use a steamroller. Okay. Yeah. No. It was not. It was not <coughs> sourced. It was not. He looked at me and said, "Oi, you ain't got an iron, do you?" And I say, "Oi, not for long after I put it in your bleeding chest, you knife-eared bastard." <sighs> Are are we getting away from trying to do Scottish into just vaguely angry Gaelic? <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, you keep asking questions like that. I'm putting your name in the book. It's in the book. I thought his name was in the book anyway, since he, you know you've been. I, I will underline it again. <laughs> All right, so uh, here's a joke you that's underline it anymore. You're gonna have to go to the second page. I mean, it's the, already uh, on the second page. I have scratched through that fucking page. I um, I, that's I'm gonna, in the book. I'm gonna make a joke that's only for me. I'm gonna click my pen and say, "You just made the list." <laughs> Somewhere in chat, there's one wrestling fan who's laughing at that. For some reason, I, mean, I felt like that was Doctor Yanator saying something like that. No, it's Chris Jericho. I can okay. also list a web comic that did that joke. So I mean, Chris Jericho. I mean, yeah, but I can still list a web comic. Chris Jericho. I can still list a web comic. You mean Chris Jericho, the man who left the uh, the AEW World Championship belt at a uh, Taco Cabana in Jacksonville, Florida? 
so as it came out, no, it was a Longhorn Steakhouse, and the car was broken. <laughs> the uh, the driver of the the limo he was in actually probably tried to pawn it. Um, Casper Ghost, it does several things. Uh, you do not get an ad uh, on this screen. You are able to use the emotes anywhere well, in Twitch, and um, it supports the channel. So there you go. Support this madness. Aye. Or no, it's your choice. Uh, you don't support this either, madness, right? or do. I'm not your fucking mother. Oh my God. It's I do want to say he's not. He's not his fucking mother. I do want to say that we definitely appreciate you guys. You guys are the reason we're here. Uh, y'all, this is y'all are great. Uh, y'all are the reason we keep coming back and making content, even if it is questionable quality content. But uh, my personal vow is high effort, low quality content made with friends. There you go. I agree. I, I can guarantee I will put in all of the effort to make all of the low quality. Because we put in quality day after day at work. No. We, we, we want to relax too, but we want to relax with friends. I'm I, going uh, to I'm going to demand the close up cam for this. Parallax, did you get that message I, I DM'd you earlier? <laughs> did you get that thing I sent you? Did you get that thing I sent you, Birdman? Just saying. Next time you switch. <laughs> hey, uh, did you get that thing I sent you? That thing just, that I sent you. Just, did you get it? The thing I sent you. Okay, I'm now being demanded to use TurboCam 3000 to show off this so everyone can <sighs> see he's in the book. <laughs> Crunches. How's a car? Yep. <laughs> there you go. It's to be expected. Is there a page marked Call the Asylum? <laughs> no, no, in fact, there's not. I took that page out. I had to, had to rewrite it too many times. Oh, Shut up. too small. Shut up. There might be about 50 or 60 pages I tore out that say, uh, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, but... All work and no play make Homer But But, but uh, also, crazy? your name isn't Jack. Not that you know of. Yeah, that's why I tore it out of no, the page. No, no, actually, I, I do know because he sent me mail. I mean... Some people here have sent me mail and gotten mail from me, and it, it doesn't say uh, Jack either. Yes, exactly. I'm just Maze. pointing out. Maze Hughes is going wild here. Maze. <laughs> Thank you, Parallax. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I wanted as soon as I saw TurboCam 3000. TurboCam 3000. That, that, that was all I wanted. Detroit red tea. Detroit. I don't. I don't even know if anybody noticed, and I don't care. It, it made me. You made noticed. Me chuckle. I I, it, I noticed, but I was unable to use words. That is really surprising. Yeah, that's Detroit. not my normal state. That's why. Speechless. I think is the not... boys have switched roles tonight. I think. <laughs> What's happening is Parallax is uh Parallax has gotten sleep this week because the college is on the break of the spring. And I have not gotten sleep. I swear what to God, sleep? my echo just said I didn't understand a word you just said. <laughs> I don't know what repeat, activated what her. Is sleep? Well, you're never gonna you get said it. You said Parallax has, and you said it very fast. Parallaxes? Parallaxes. Parallaxes. Uh, Night Owl says, now I'm worried this about is, saying it. Night Owl um, says, uh, this is what happens when we don't have Squick around. And I pose the question, is this better or worse? Yes. Uh, it's this? different. I. I. Hey, uh, Parallax. Hi. Um, are we, are you wearing headphones or are we coming out of your speakers? Are you seriously hearing that? No, I'm just asking a question. I'm, I'm on my headphones. Oh, okay. 
I was just because I was going to say, uh, Alexa, play play the spam song. But... Well, l luckily, the other night when Squick was helping me get my uh, my microphone lined out, um, he could hear himself through my headphones. Well, yeah, no, he was really sensitive at one point. Yes, but... yes, Caspar, that is exactly what that is. What? A what? an old medicine cap with sticky tack on it. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, I, this one's also a uh, children's medicine bottle that uh, it's full of alcohol at the moment, actually. It gives it some nice weight. Um, and I use it for cleaning my brushes when I'm using oil paints. Um, and uh, it does the same thing. Yeah, it works, works a treat. Screw those holders. I mean, I have one of those holders, um, but they don't work tremendously well for my Battletech stuff because I've got the newer model of the Citadel holder that doesn't grab onto the side of the MDF bases. Now, for like real Battletech, uh, for CGL stuff, it works fine. Ducky, are you painting near your laptop? I am painting very near my laptop. Okay, because we he says that's brave, man. Um... I do it all the time. If I showed you my keyboard, which you can kind of see anyway, you can see how much paint spatter is on my keyboard. I haven't gotten any spatter on my keyboard whatsoever, and I'm very careful with my null oil because <coughs> I keep it in a container. Did you keep it I in your hip up. flask? I keep it in my hip flask. Ah! Ah! Every now and then I need a nip of the old null oil to keep me awake. Uh, disclaimer, please don't drink On your oil. gums. On your gums. On your gums. Do not drink the non oil or put okay. it anywhere near I'm your sorry. mouth. I'm sorry, give me just a second. Um, let's see, where's the thing? I, I got a mouse to do the stuff, to grab On the your thing. Gums. Where'd it go? Um, okay, we'll do throw in that one real do quick. Do not actually put the non oil and... on your gums. No, what? Listen, no. Yeah, wait. There we go. Just listen. I assume the chat will be hearing that you all want. You want a. Brown tea is and B, them to melt. Monster. Sure, go ahead. Even but otherwise, hey, I am no 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 oil. Thank you. I this has been a public service announcement. Any which way the winds may be blowing, I am going. I am going where streams hey. of whiskey are flowing. Hey, Para. Hi. I'ma send you a thing. <laughs> I'ma do it. I'ma do it. The uh Detroit, uh, De -de Detroit, uh red teeth Saurus are done. Oh my. Now I have to save this, put it in a place so oh, I can do a thing. Color. I I I can't even tell what a color they are, but they look cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ducks. Can you not tell the color, or are they invisible on your screen? They, I mean, they they're just against the paper towel. They're a black, broken JPEG file. <laughs> All I see is a paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we may be uh, feckin' idiots tonight. Nobody look in the lot. No, I mean, no, don't be, don't be doing that. Didn't the look other, at the it. Other, the other thing that I'm going to be doing, uh, for uh, the fun of it, is the bases are going to be painted like they're on an ice rink. Excellent. As one does. Okay. Um, so, so apparently, um, Laughing Man can't hear me because he poured uh, yellow paint into his ears. That's a decision a person might make. I don't <laughs> recommend <What>? it. <laughs> so, we, we have some questions. Please do not answer any of them. As it turns out, uh, you can actually just click and drag shit in OBS. And nobody ever told me that. And now I feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't even know how to work OBS. So, like, don't feel bad. Don't worry. OBS doesn't know how to work OBS half the time. Truth. So, I there we go. OBS knows how to work. The Red Teeth. Yes, the Detroit Red Teeth with Coach Scotty Bowman. Uh, <laughs> uh, but the teeth aren't red. Yet. That's I mean, the joke here. That's the joke. They will be. Coming. It's coming for oh, you. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Uh, I'm gonna just, you know, as you. someone who you know, yeah, has I was... a red hole in their mouth, um, yeah. 
I, was, I mean, uh, to be fair, at least it's not like a green hole. To be fair. To be fair. It's not anymore. It probably was a little bit green before, which is uh, why he was taking pills for a week. So I'm going to be honest with with everyone, uh, including myself. I really had kind of intended to paint this uh, Arcturian. Okay. Uh, so you wanted but, to have tiger stripes. Uh, well, I was, you know, snow camo and what have you, and I was going to pair it up with my little locust that uh, looks like uh, ATSD Walker from Star Trek. From Star, Star Trek. <laughs> Excellent. Wow. I really need more some more scotch before I continue talking. But, you remember uh, that time that Gandalf said use the Force uh, Picard? Yeah, I do remember that. And There's that a very really... easy, easy way to fix your AOL AIM whacker. Number one, don't use it. Number two, uh, use Trillion because Trillion will fix it right up. <laughs> is it is it 2003? What the fuck the, just happened? The yeah. callback. <laughs> so, Trillion uh, was like the best thing ever. I remember. Yes, it was. I remember. I was an early adopter. I, I remember. Me too. Remember Trillion? Remember MIRC? Yep. Yeah. Oh, remember AT-ATs? Remember, remember, remember Napster? Oh, I remember. No, I, I slept through that one. Remember uh, LimeWire and Kazaa oh, and Morpheus? Oh, yeah. I remember those. Those got in me in trouble. <laughs> those if you got could me sit down. for my okay. ISP. Hold, hold. Hold. If you could sit and drink with any character in Battletech, who would it be? Other than Randolph P. Checkers? I was going to say, Randolph P. Checkers, Esquire. Yes, anybody else? I thought we, several of us have actually sat and drank with Randolph P. Checkers, Esquire. No, he doesn't drink anymore. Well, yeah, but we've... Well, we have been in his presence and consumed something, you, yes. Yes, you have partaken of the alcohol. Uh, so, I'm going to be honest with you, like, all the big names... Like Felvin Kell and Kyle Art Liao, I would really not go hang out with. I would Natasha want to go hang Kerensky. Out. Lord Troa points out that go drink with Duncan Fisher. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I want to be alive the next morning. I'm not going to drink with Duncan goddamn Fisher. I won't make it. It could be a coffee. <laughs> I might be having coffee. I wanna, I wanna go in a tea ceremony with uh, what's her name? Oh uh, my, Curita. Oh me, yes. Curita. Yes. I'm gonna have a tea ceremony with Theodore Curita. Oh wait, I'm dead again. Oh, they, no, Omi. Omi. Uh, were they, you, um, were you getting me. ready to say that uh, the problem is that if you sat down with any of the big names from Paddletech, you're probably gonna end up dead. No, I was trying to say that as much as many of them are heroic and, and, and genuinely relatable characters, um, I would really rather go hang out with Cranston Snord because, you know, he's... <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if I want to go drink with the Clanner, so... Uh, I'm not going to take the Clanner. Uh, Cranston Snord broke the Snords of Regulars broke off of uh, uh, the Wolf's Dragoons in like 3012. Ethan, oh, how the hell are we no, going to do a DFA? His daughter and two others did. Then Snord won the rest of the unit in a poker game. The game mm -hmm. of Zabek? <laughs> anyway. Um, no, Ethan, like all the Ethan. Ethan, how are we going to do a DFA while painting? Uh, Para, can you grab two of your mechs, please? That should one should have jump jets. <laughs> okay. Yes, I can. I can make this work. Give me a second. Um, so okay. We're on okay. The playground. Who's do ready? It. Who's ready? Do you, have a Kodiak? do you have a Kodiak? I don't have a Kodiak. Do not break oh. them. Who's ready? Who's ready? Yeah. Do it. Woo. That was a Marauder too. Uh, we're we're roughly three. <laughs> we're roughly three years old. Sometimes I'm just. I'm this many. Not a complaint. <laughs> wait, 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 not a complaint. So I, I didn't this. think we were quite old enough to be in Cookie's class yet. <laughs> not not a complaint, but sometimes water break. Water break. You know what? I really need that water break. Just thank you. Wow. Marado stomps on crib. Clear his beard, Mike. Fuck you, Jack. 
Posture check. Mm. I've checked what? my posture. It is bad. <laughs> yes. I I want someday to have a desk to work at. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, this is what the uh, camera. This is the desk that I got from World Market uh, with a coupon when it was a floor model and on clearance. So. <laughs> no, we um, I used to have a desk. Uh, what about camera be? pistol? Okay. I think it's back in focus now. Okay. Yes. Oh no! Posture check the camera. Do not your posture, posture check. How 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 is the camera's posture? Is it slouching? Um, I mean, I yes, the camera is slouching. That's that's. You know, that's actually, the magic doing. arm it's on is pretty straight. Well, there you go. All right, now I need some blue for the, uh, the crotch section there. Yep, we got to have a blue crotch on this thing. It's important. Some, oh no, so I have. People think that's a medical condition. I have uh, pearlescent blue Ooh. that I am shaking up right now. I'm going to make this fabulously awful. Excellent. Lob that in there. I approve. Okay, it's... Cookie, just for you, I'm going to break this out. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, is that it? That's it. All right, we're going to go over to TurboCam 3000 so I can show you what I'm about to do. Give me about 10 seconds. Uh, by the time it gets up on camera, it will have been that long. There it is. Cookie, we'll make it Tarian just for you. Thank you. Yay. I need one of those sheets. Where do I get this? Where do, where do, where, where, I do think I this one at? came from Etsy. So uh, you can get the official ones from Fighting Piranha, I think. But uh, these are the HBS Battletech uh, faction emblems. Very nice. Yes. I actually Good. don't trust. Them. Good. I don't trust my hands to be steady enough to apply those. Programs. I hate decals. Now I have a question. For I have an those answer. Of you who care. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. The Torians are bulls. Longhorns. So does that mean they come from Austin? I think they're more Brahma. If you look at the uh if you look at the uh, the the way that the horns are, they're very curved horns. Uh I'm I'm feeling more Brahma than uh okay. Longhorn. Also, uh Para, so, what so is it they're about... from Delhi. What is it about decals that you don't like? Uh, I suck at them. Okay, so do I. Uh, I've found uh, that there is... Uh, do you use Microsol or... I have the tester's equivalent of Microset. It does the job just fine, but uh, putting decals on thing things is perilously close to assembling something, and assembly is my least favorite part of any model. Okay, the next question I'm going to ask is, do you know the... Muffin Man? Uh, no. The do Muffin you know Man? The, the do you know the uh, gloss... Uh, uh, yes. The gloss clear coat uh, thing? Okay. Yes. Figured I'd ask. Most of the time, like, I've gotten better at it, but most of the time my problems have been, like... These I'm mostly okay with. Like, if I have a problem with this, it's more along the lines of, oh, I'm putting this on the model and trying to move it around on the surface of the model, and it's sticking to my brush rather than the model. I can usually get around that. My big problems with decals have been things like doing Star Trek models, and then, like, uh, Polar Lights has included decals that are, like, three inches across. And just, fuck that! I am never getting that shit on right. Um, Biz Monkey, what I have found, I don't know if this will work for decals. If you or somebody you know has a, you can use like sticker paper and whatnot. If they have a cricket, you can, you can cut them at, um, washi tape, at washi tape level. And it'll peel, you can peel stuff off and stick them on. And I know that there are laser jet decals. I and there are yes. probably inkjet decals, but I don't know of an inkjet printer that has fine enough detail for something this size. There are there are both. I sell the seven. Damn it. We, we we sell the paper for both. 
but it depends on your printer not having shit resolution. Yes. And my... I've got a, uh, go ahead. I've got a good printer, but I don't think it can print like subatomic text. That's... Subatomic text. He yeah. talks about uh, battle armors on YouTube, right? I don't know. Never heard of the guy. Subatomic text. Well, folks, we're <laughs> reaching for jokes tonight. Um, I'm not sorry. What's, what's not this sorry. wee stuff, Kimosabi? Hey. Okay, Shut. cookie. Cookie. What? Should we unroll or reveal the new contest? Uh, which contest? The not squick or the, not. The, the, the replacement for squick Oh, yes. Not. Now, guys, oh, yes. uh, we have been that. discussing this for a while because squick or not has turned into not squick. Like, I don't think yeah. we've gotten squick in a while. So No, we got one the other night. Okay. We got one the other night, but it's we've very, very weird. one in the last eight. Okay. So what, especially for this night and Monday night... Um, I'm sort of tweaking for other nights to make it more fair, but it's, um, but uh, I'll get that for you, Wacker. What, what, but, cast or not? Yeah, y'all are not. Y'all are not. Us or ain't. It's time to play some game that's us or ain't. Yeah, pretty much. It's, uh, it's us so tonight's, or hold on. Tonight is Parallax, Halzakar, Warlax, Mad Ducks, Whirlin, and Cookie. Oh boy! So do we want to throw a squick in just just to pad the numbers? But he's not here. I know. Yeah, but he also has. But he is a norm. He is a normal. Uh, you were about to say he's normal. Uh, no, yeah, squick's no, a normie. Is. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and add squick because the game was him. So it's this. These are like the add-on packs, okay? <laughs> but the, uh, we're the DLC, DLC to squick or not? The DLC. <laughs> Or the so, expansion packs. Yeah, the, the way it works, the way it works is I'm going to set up a prediction. We'll do it for two minutes. You can say uh, us or ain't, us or ain't. You can pick us, and if it's us, it'll be one of us plus quick. If it's ain't, it'll be ain't. And what I'll do is I'll pull up a, um, I'll pull up a random quote at the end of those two minutes, and if that quote contains, uh, contains one of, one us, of us, idiots. As as a speaker, not mentioned as a speaker, then, then, um, then we will, uh, then, then it's us. Otherwise, it's ain't. All so right. This is, so this is a wager, guys. It is a wager. No, no, so, no. It, legally, it's distinct. It is a prediction. That's right. A wage I'm sorry. and a manger. I'm reaching for jokes. I really didn't even think about that. I just spit it out. Wow. Anyway, uh, us or ain't. Why don't okay. you tell it? To, why don't you tell us if it's us, us or ain't? So I was watching History of the World Part Two the other night. Ready, set, go. Prediction and up. I got to the end of it, and they they rehashed Hitler on Ice from History of the World Part One, and they did yeah. the scoring to it. Which is the new okay. uh, part of it, and they get to the end of it, and it's like, okay, so that's the uh, that's the end of the ice skating for uh, Hitler. There, he's going back to his bunker with Ava Braun, and he's probably mm -hmm. gonna go shoot himself in the fucking face. So coming up next is the uh, downhill freestyle uh, uh, skiing with Benito Mussolini. Can he he can make the trains run on time, but can he beat his own time? I hope he breaks both of his fucking legs. Wow. <laughs> it was okay. great. Okay. <sighs> we were kinda off to I a get, start. I get the impression that Mel Brooks has decided that he is old enough. Not, as he though he did before. before, as though he gave a shit before, he is now old enough and established enough that uh, he can say His whatever the is not just fuck busted. he wants. His give a damn is not just busted; it no longer exists. Unfortunately, from what I've heard, it sounds like they just used the name "History of the World Part 2 and used him as uh, essentially a glorified uh, narrator. Uh, because he didn't write any of it. Huh. I've only watched it, the one episode. 
yeah, from what I've heard, it, it's actually, like, there are bits, there are times where it has that kind of humor, but it, it's too sanitized. But 15 seconds, folks. Get it 15 in. 15 seconds. Oh, God. Oh, God. 15 seconds. Click fast. Click it. Click it. Bah. Bah, 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 bah. Do it. All right, do it. Here we and go. Do it and do Here it. Here we do go. It, do it. Okay, us or ain't ready? Us or ain't something, Tell something, us something. Us, us or ain't. ain't. We're very organized, okay. apparently. We're yep. very something. Here we go. Ready? Stupid. I the think stupid goes. is the word. A little bit. Here we. <laughs> what? Five, four, three, two, one. You remember that time your preschool teacher told oh. you you were a fucking oh. idiot? Ain't. I just Eight. lost 5,000 goob. <laughs> Eight. I am the one with the vapor rub, chat. I can breathe and I can fight. <laughs> I am the one with the vapor rub. <laughs> I am the one who knocks. It is you who are the butt lickers. <laughs> uh... Well, I just picked up almost 10K. <laughs> yes, a lot of it came from me. <laughs> it puts the vapor up on it the was... gums. Ow. Um, ooh, ooh, I will no, tell you. Don't do that. Grimos, no, don't do that. I'm quoting a quote. Uh, he quoted a quote of me quoting a quote. Now that, that's, that's a that quote. My brain. That's a quote. Um, Grimos, okay, so... quote that. Quote the quote about the quote. Quote. <sighs> Hey, I just want to point one plus out... Two plus one plus one. The quotability of that quote is quite quotable. Uh, the about, quotient no. of the quotability quotient. of you know, that I'm starting quote. to feel like as we talk about these quotable quotes, we're getting right into some potent potables. Uh, uh, I just want to point out that we're actually painting tonight. Uh, yeah, we got to do something to break that trend like this. Yeah. That's the problem. That's why things are going. Uh, there. The things are going so fucking weird because we stopped talking in skulks. Aye, aye. How did I not a scotch? R. I didn't run. I, I got a full body. Oh, let's go. <laughs> At least no one is spinning in their chairs. <laughs> One of these days, I do actually have a goal of getting a nice bottle of sip and scotch. Ducks, I'm going to let you have that. I, I've tried. I've honestly tried. I, I'm just not a scotch drinker. That's fine. More for me. Are you a scotch drinker? No. Well, we um, know you like it, bourbon. I. American chartered oak barrels. Yeah, made fresh behind the waffle hoose. <laughs> I'd drink it. I, God, I, I actually I, think I would buy a bottle of Waffle House bourbon just to see how terrible it was. Is it made with Waffle House syrup? No, it has that to be 51% be corn. It, it's Waffle House syrup and blood they've mopped up off the floor. Oh, uh, actually, Waffle House syrup, I think, has corn syrup in it, so they can actually get away with that. <laughs> yeah, it does, actually. So... Waffle House syrup and blood off the table. Uh... These red bits in it. The... Why is there a tooth? <laughs> Don't you worry about that. It drinks fine. No, no, no. You wouldn't be asking if there's a tooth. You should try some of this Waffle House whiskey. It'll give you a fucking transcendental experience. Why's it got a tooth in it? Oh, uh, because it's making uh, no, up no, the no, last I'm ones. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I forgot to. I, I forgot to clarify. Why doesn't okay. it have? <laughs> Grimos, I'm not gonna kill you. No, that's not how this works. It doesn't have more teeth in it because the rest of them dissolved. I was gonna say it has a tooth. <laughs> that's how you know it's fresh. It's toothy. It's, it'll it's make you long in the tooth. Ah, it keeps you alive. That's what my granny always told me. She said, Oi, you drink a pint of this in a day, and you'll feel like fucking a Superman at the end of it. And she tried to fly off the roof that night. I don't recommend it. <laughs> she, that's why she's got all that metal in her arm. <laughs> 
They still stop her when she goes to pay her, pay her water bill. Waffle House whiskey is called the night shift special. <laughs> like I said, I'd try it. I'd, I'd try it once, and I'd hope that they'd put it on the menu. I mean, hell, at this point, Cracker Barrel sells beer and mimosas, so why the fuck not? I just want to point out that I can appreciate the fact that Sturgill Simpson made it his goal to get on the Waffle House jukebox. And he did it. <laughs> yeah. I like. I appreciate that. Like, that's my goal. I want to be on the Waffle House jukebox. And then he did it. Now my life is complete. Did I rock the jukebox? Didn't I rock the jukebox? No, you rock the cars bar. I want to get some it. pipes. The reason this is going this direction is because everybody's on spring break and we're all a bit mad here. Well, I mean, a bit. We've all yourself. always been a bit mad. Think for yourself. I'm not mad at all. <laughs> You'll float too. I'm a Listen. very calm and level headed person with no strange <laughs> ideas. I think you have the head of a level person, yes. Listen, your, your head is somewhere not in your, somewhere in your basement. I was going to say, oh what God. keeps on his counter is none of our business. Well, I Listen. was going to say it's tilted straight at least. Rigby, but on the face that she keeps in a jar by the door. What is it for? Uh, Someone hey. called the Popo. Hey, Parallax. Hi. <laughs> I hate the fact that this does not look as awful as I expected. I am mortified at what I have created. <laughs> and may God have mercy on all our souls. If I, I wish I had a little plastic knife to tape into the back. I mean, you could print one. I could. Um, Don't tell me you'll print a fucking hat to put on a mech, but you won't make a tiny plastic knife. I actually, I have a, um, a true story. I have a um, a warhawk that what the legs came out all uh, gimpy and deformed and snapped uh -huh. off, and so it's got one leg. And I want to print some little crutches for it and tape them on. Um, Excellent, admirable just, goal. You know, um, because I think that that is. Uh, I mean, Tiny Tim has four PPCs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Please, sir, may I blast some more? You know, I'm crossing the streams, I know, but you get the idea. We battered him up on the hill where he has a view of the ducks. He always liked looking at the ducks and shooting them with his particle projection cannons. As a proud Warhawk, because yes, my college was is now, it was not at the time, but is now the Warhawk, I... Don't know how I feel about this. I it doesn't really change it. Listen, um, going as back somebody around, who's piloted a Warhawk since thirty fifty was published, I I'd did, rather take the leg off an Atlas and use it as a club. Right, but this Warhawk printed with one leg. The other yes, one. I was, understand this. So I think that little little Tim little Timmy. Little, Tim little, Tim little, <laughs> Deserves a chance at life. Tim, Tim, Timmy, Tim, Tim, Timmy, Tom, Tim. Does he have a big giant head? I it's a warhawk, so it does have a big giant head. I appreciate the Muppet Treasure Island reference so much right now. I guys, I am mortified at what I've created. Uh, I mean, are you going to drop it into our thing so we can see it? I'm almost. Uh, it's almost ready to drop in the thing. Uh... You... Now, where did I put that? Okay, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna. I need to purchase new medium quality brushes. Well, as it turns out, there are recommendations that can be made. I I need a varied set of medium quality brushes. Okay. But they... I will send you a link. Yeah, I like I'm... the ones that have the little triangle handle things because it's easier to you know. Old. Yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and very... drop this into my thing because I was working on this earlier. I'm going to print okay. it and then I'm going to ugly it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, as long as we're talking about ripping the limbs off of something and using it as a weapon. There we go. 
outstanding. That, that's a very good use for a Shadowhawk. I approve of this. I can't. It's on my printer right now. I hope it turns out. I'm I will be printing so one for this. tonight. <laughs> It'll be there in wow. the morning. Yes. Okay. All right. Let me just a battle mask. I, I I just love the and fuck you too, Shadow. <laughs> All I right. love how I, it's a mech, so it doesn't have a face. But the sheer exuberance of the body language to be smacking a shadow hawk with its own arm. Oh, quit hitting yourself. Right. <laughs> Did you want this in recent work? Yep. <sighs> what you got? What you got? I am going to go and wash my hands. As I have a bunch of milliput left on them. Well, well, that thought, you see, you, you, see, might you need see to this. be using solvent to smooth over your milliput. Parallax? Yes. I owe the universe an apology for what I've done, and I will not be giving it. <laughs> the universe knows what it did. It knows what it did. Give me just a minute to get some more gray onto our Tarian boy here. Um, we'll have to ask chat if they would like you to put it onto the screen, because... Um... Oh, chat's going to get it. I'm going to... Oh, okay. I'm going to lay it on him! So you're telling me chat's going to get it to him? What? Yeah, I did that. Yes, yes. Uh, yep. Oh, he, he just uptown punked you. Is uptown chat's gonna give it to you? <sighs> uptown chat gonna give it to you. Aye. Aye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for the last half hour, sanity has departed. Uh, it was here? It was we here. Had some? It was not, we yeah, it was out. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately. The English ran away because all of a Scotsman decided to murder them. I... There is a history of that. Just a little bit. Well, yes, I quite concur and participate in said. There you go. Um, Where however, are the Kaiser? Ave! You know, ducks. Uh huh. You you had posted what the loadout of that was, and I appreciated it. Uh huh. But I look did at not its realize... dead gauss. Yeah, that's got a gauss to. right on its pecker. That, that's what I was getting to. Ah, <laughs> uh, it downloaded it from the internet. <laughs> I got fifteen hundred meters worth of range. Uh, uh, so whacker on it. Give me your honest. Like this is a, a flesh toned. Uh... Tell me what you think, Wacker. Like, is, is this cursed enough? It's got the uh, blue jean booty enough? shorts, and it's got a blue jean cut off jacket going on there. So um, I thought I thought Mace. you had a I thought you had cut off overalls there. Oh this. God! <laughs> yes, yes, cut off overalls. Okay, Mace says he's Mace wearing says his liberty sanity. He's down at the Hardys, boys. <laughs> Mace, Mace said. Mays says Sanity is drinking a fifth of whiskey out behind the Outback Steakhouse that closed 15 years ago. And uh, Grimos, I'm not sure that was Parallax. That might have been Halzakar. What, what was said? No, He's that was Parallax. Oh, was it Para? Okay. Oh, God, what did I say? Oh, no, that was me. It, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I had to own that. On it. It's got a gauss picker. <laughs> I... Okay, you got it right this time. This time, but well, we have our eye on you. Yeah, a little bit. It's Do got a pecker <laughs> full of gorse, yeah. Oh, oh, no. oh no. no! I'm not reading that out loud. They can see that themselves, dude. That's what she said. Alrighty. So I, yeah. So as it turns out, yes, that is a thing that happened. Okay, moving along. Oh, okay. I will, Biz I will. Monkey actually, Biz Monkey has the correct reference. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, the wallet chains. Oh my no, lord! This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fighting. This is for fun. I knew. I knew what it was. I was just saying. Also, the wallet chains. That's all oh, okay. I was saying. All right. Okay, so I wanted to paint a second fighter, and I'm going to do it fast because I wanted to, and I'm gonna. Okay. Okay, you do you, boo. Um, somebody give me a color. Stay with okay. me, goose. Chartreuse. I don't even know what that looks like. Technically, it's it. green. <laughs> I'm a jerk. Do a nice blue. 
You're a bitch. You're a. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to feel that called out. <laughs> I was I was listening to some uh, some some fine uh, BPL recommended music the other day. And I can say it's BPL recommended music because uh, Diggs uh, paid for Clownvis to sing "Happy Birthday" to Tex last year. Um, so I, I was listening to uh, "Don't Be a Bitch at Christmas," and uh, yeah, "Don't Be a Bitch at Christmas," guys. You won't you get do stuff that. for Christmas. Thank you. Um, don't be a bitch, or you won't get stuff for Christmas. <laughs> So while installing a sound system today, at I really very... hope in a church. I really hope you play "Don't Be a Bitch" for Christmas. Well, while installing Uh-oh. a sound system at a nice little church, uh, they were super friendly, uh, lovely little place. They had just finished remodeling after some damage to the place. It was all done by volunteer labor, and you could tell they put their blood and sweat and tears into the place. And it was it was great, and the people were very welcoming and helpful. Uh, helped us get the scissor lift in. We did our best to make everything look exactly perfect. And I may have oh dear. Oh been dear. jamming out to Weird uh, Weird Al Polka's. Uh, the oh, okay. Time. That's that's so down with that. Yeah, yeah no, that's I, acceptable. Um, no, now when we were doing an event center an hour and a half away, I did play Clown vs. Clown Motel through 18,000 watts of sound system, so... What what is your favorite thing to play like that as a as a sound test? I really hope it's the theme song for this show. Um, Mowage. <laughs> I Mowage one. is what brings us together today. One. The holy matrimony. Parallax. Yes. You know that for dream. a fact that it's I have played dream. the intro for this song. I do know this. At an event center. I do know at this. At an event center. I have done this. And two, God's honest truth, uh, if you need to set something, set a sound system, calibrate it quick, fast, and in a hurry, uh, play uh, Mannheim Steamrollers Fresh Air 3. Um, yeah, that play works. that, if, because if you can hear every instrument, the piccolos, the horns, if you can hear every single instrument in the mix, it's good enough to get you paid, sound system is calibrated, <laughs> go set up the stage. Yeah. But bear in mind... Well- most most of most of Mannheim steamrollers because the whole American Dawn or whatever that one too would be a good one. Right. So here's what you do. Here's what you do. You go oh, in wow. and you set yourself up a sound system based entirely off of Queen's Prophet song. <laughs> or Tom's Diner if you really hate yourself. Oh God. No, that is that, that is my favorite oh. calibration track because if you can hear every instrument on that when you're done, every vocal is going to pop and you're going to get that high end of the keys. And if they have like a saxophone, it's going to sound great. Flat, you don't have to mess mess up the cha- mess with the channels individually. Uh, you can concentrate on making the band uh, hear what they need from the monitors, and then you can go get paid. Uh, I am there to get paid. I am sorry. I'm an audio engineer. I set it up. It has to be perfect enough. because Perfect enough. I didn't know that was a thing, but I'm going to go with yeah, it. It is now. You can spend oh, 90% is. of your time trying to get 10% improvement, or you can spend 15% of your time going uh, with something playing that you're familiar with through, I don't know, five minutes. Make some little tweaks to your uh, master output. Don't touch it after that because you know what it sounds like. And then go concentrate on the part that gets you paid. Um, sorry, mercenary. Audio mercenary. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I really need, like, if I ever manage to meet up with you while you're setting something up, I really just need to hear a prophet song being played over a really, really nice sound system. Um, okay. My I don't know if anybody's familiar with the song or not, but Jesus Christ, it was Freddie Mercury locked himself in a room for like 15 hours and recorded nothing but vocals, and it's amazing. I just want to hear some Home Free on a sound system. Those boys can sing. Okay, so here's we're going to go back over to Turbo oh. Camera, and I'm going to show you our good friend here, Tari and Shadowhawk. And it's even the LBX-10 one. Oh, yeah. I will say this. One of the songs I used to use for calibrating, Nibelungenlieg, Wagner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, was the end result a little lacking in base, or did you know to compensate for that? You can compensate for that. My problem was, uh, especially in some of the rooms I was doing, it was getting the the treble in the high end because the low end, most of these places had a basement under it. Mm. Okay, I turned that so whole let's... basement into a sub. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, that's pretty funny. Actually. That's that's uh, that's a nice looking mech. There we go. Now pretty. we can actually. I like it. I'm trying to get to where you can. There. Now you can see the emblem on his chest. Indeed. What color is it? I like it. Thank you. It is unfortunately is red there, uh, Duck. No, no. This is fine. I don't have to be able to see things. It's just me holding up my hand with a bottle in it and nothing on top of it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So there we go. There is uh, Tarion 1, and uh, we'll go ahead and do Tarion 2 while we're at it. Tarion 2. Yeah, we've sounds... got about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> Tarion 2, Electric Boogaloo. Okay, Tarion 2, who is very oh, no, similar to Tarion 1. Oh, Tio's although... sending me things Discord again. Let me see. We need a mech scale. <sighs> oh, Christ. I don't yes. know... Why the fuck this just popped into my head? But you said mech scale, and for some reason my brain just went, "Oh yes, Mexican, I, I, Mexican I, food." Oh my lord! I would figure you would have said so we had for dinner? mech scale banana, but okay, banana for scale. But okay, this monkey's gonna. Okay. No. I would like to say that uh, not having used Tamaya paints very often. Ooh, boy! <laughs> How uh, how's your brain cells? Oh, d d diminishing. Ah, uh, <laughs> is that because of the experience, or is that because of uh, the, the experience? Yeah. The experience. Ah. Uh, to, to put it bluntly, I have the brushable clear coat that I'm putting on for a gloss coat right now for some of my samurai stuff. Oh, boy. Uh, so um. in the um, in the studios, uh, the faders uh, on those consoles, which cost like 450 bucks a piece times 48, uh, you... Um, you have to clean them and lubricate them with a mixture of stabilizer and um, Everclear. Oh, good. Good. Complete, completely serious. Is the Everclear serve the added bonus of you've been, you've been there too long and need to take the edge off? <laughs> there was oh. a console, and it was one of the very few, few of these consoles left in the United States. Oh, and this is are, promising. Only three people in the United States that can service it, and the other two are smarter than I am because they don't do it. <laughs> oh. like what knows what you're talking about? Forty-eight modules. I think I've touched one of these. <laughs> I'm going to send you. This was very popular at the time. I'm going to send you the name and model number. Hold on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, uh, here, it's in the, uh... In the hauler? You know, my favorite thing to do whenever I have you and Squick in a room together is to see if I can start an audio nerd fight. Well, here's the thing. We agree on more than we disagree on. That's unless, true. you know... Unless you don't. Unless we don't, and that's normal. Now, if you really want to rile up an audio file, tell them Beats headphones are good. Oh, God, no. <laughs> you see, my, my usual route, because that, that's too easy. That's that's too... I, I like to ask them, so tell me all about Sennheiser. What about... Hey, I was thinking about wiring yes, my house up I with I actually Bose. know where one of these is. I know where one of them is, and guess who has to take it apart once a year and service it? How well are you compensated for that? Uh, not well not enough. Not well enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I actually know somebody who uses one of these close oh. to where I live. Oh, no, the original, completely serious, the original um, Transformers soundtrack, soundtrack uh -huh. from uh, the 80s movie, uh -huh. was, was mixed on this one. Okay. It's dead serious. Uh, this is the one I'm thinking of, you and got it's the actually power! Uh, 73 miles from where I'm sitting right now. That's very specific. Uh, 
George Lucas left at White Sands after they filmed Star Wars. Ah, okay. That'd be why. <laughs> I was like, I don't why do you with the... this fucking thing anymore? <laughs> well, oh, no, no, THX <laughs> thought they had shipped it back and they didn't. <laughs> So well. here's the thing. It is a good console. It is for its time and the fact that they still work 40 years later and the fact that you can pull all the IC chips and replace them with modern equivalents, the power usage goes down to like a tenth of the original ceramics. And it, it doesn't heat up the entire room anymore. Uh, it sounds cleaner than it used to. The fact that it was built so that you can hot, you can pop out, hot swap the modules, take them apart, recalibrate them, clean everything up, put the chips back in, pop them in. It's got the patch panel. Uh, I did have to add an aftermarket patch panel, but it is, I will admit, for its time, one heck of a product. And ladies and gentlemen, that has been Audiophile Corner. I hope you enjoyed that segment of the New Merrick Workshop. That is right, the New Merrick Workshop, not, in fact, Star Wars with Crow. Indeed. Most and remember, ladies and gentlemen... We have gentlemen? For cheering for the one... main... <laughs> you were like going in and out for that whole thing. It's I'm going to be cool. honest, really the going in and out really just made it better. Like it just oh, made, made it better. Okay, so now they both Remember have a nice Tarian logo on them. Yeah. Okay. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to tip your waitresses. What? what? Why are you biting me? Because I'm, you taste good. I'm hoping that's a no. Somebody quote that. <laughs> Bargained well and done. <laughs> Thank did, you, Cookie. Did Thank you. Link. Bargained so, well and done. Was... Wh why, are, why are you biting me? Because you taste good. Why does this remind me of the time? That, I don't even remember what the fuck we were talking about in Who general said that, chat at some point. That was I, I, fair, wasn't it? Or was it how? I, I, I said because you taste good. Okay, all right, there you go. I'm remembering at some point in general chat, uh, somehow we got on to making up, uh, you know, like you do, uh, clan names. And we I think we ended up with Clam Jimbro. And I don't even remember how we got here, but I, I just remember saying into the microphone... Do you even lift, bro, Queen Egg? And I think Tex almost died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the Queen Egg caught him off guard. Yeah, I think it did. I don't even know if the, the red on this is even here. <laughs> I don't God, even know like... if this is red. The bottle says neutral gray. I'm not even sure anymore. Um, I'm I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> doing it live, ladies and gentlemen. We have eleven minutes to the end of the hour. I hope you all have enjoyed your flight. Uh, we will be landing at uh, Albuquerque International, and uh, if you look out your uh, window now, you'll see the uh, annual uh, uh, hot air balloon festival on your right and on your left. And oh God, it's in front of us! Is Jeff Goldblum flying the plane? Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so if, I, if we're landing here, the balloon fiesta on the right, on the left is Cannon Air Force Base. Watch out, because they may or may not be experimenting with experimental aircraft and or nuclear ordnance. <laughs> no more questions. I break your hands. Or nuclear aircraft. Wait. <laughs> uh, they did that there, yes. They did do that, yeah. They could um, also I feel be... like Night Owl might be in chat. Night Owl, tell us about uh, nuclear-powered aircraft. I nuclear no powered. I, sp I remember the Soviet nuclear-powered bomber that would just spread fallout across the entirety of Russia. Well, listen, Clan Tabasco Crab is best clan. Don't care. 
plan Tabasco crab. So I have been. Cat, um, Cat you got hair on my brush. And the fact that Don't I'm going look at to be me like that. Here, quick plug: the fact that I'm going to be coming back to this Why tomorrow, like that? Um, <laughs> in West of Loathing on the Hanging with Hell's thing. The we thing. did establish, yeah, we did establish the ancestors of Clan Snack Cobra, and they are. So it was it was the uh, the snake oiler digging bear. So uh, Vulcan of uh, the auxiliary had. Uh, uh, I hope I'm not like overstepping myself, but he has a little thread called Bandit Clans, and he had an idea there. And he was just kind of spitballing ideas, and I think he's he's onto something brilliant there. So I think, I think I'm going to show this cast. off real quick. Well, as long as I've got TurboCam 3000 handy. Yeah, I'm just proud of Vulcan though. He creates some great stuff. I like. I'm proud to have been able to uh, create stuff with him. I said it before. I'll say it again. There's a lot of talent in the Ox, and I'm proud of you guys. This has been oh. your uh, inspiring uh, affirmation for the night, folks. And this is this is uh, Rick City. This is Rick City. <laughs> is there a, one? Where oh, frog, okay, okay. And I'm with two, you now. where the pack's in his pocket. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted well, to let you all know this is Rick City uh, here on NP. Uh, within the next hour, we're going to be hearing about the uh, lovely mating uh, habits of the African swallow, uh, brought to us by Dr. Scratch and Sniff. Um, but uh, at the moment... All the way from listening. Animaniacs? But That's at the I moment, got. we're going to be uh, listening to uh, the dulcet tones, uh, dulcet tones of parallax in painting with parallax. I do like. God damn, we're going to be painting some mechs, you see! <laughs> <laughs> I do not know which ones are what color, but we're going to figure the fuck out! Yes, Biz I, Monkey uh... is asking for Frog and Griglak, son of Griglak. Uh, I've got Griglak. I've got Griglak handy. Um, here's Griglak. He's, he's, uh, his blue is on, but I haven't done his skin yet. But he is suitably epic. He charge. Greg Lack, Greg Lack charge. <laughs> if no one, if that. anyone here has not listened to that, I they'll it, need to I listen to that. that. The Magistrat of Mundanus, brought to you by the Black Pants Legion podcast. Seriously, I that the other day, and lo and yep, behold, if I can is. bring it up, I'll, oh, did somebody ever link it again? Let's see, where did that? <laughs> Here we go. It's here we go. Let me. Oh. Okay. So here is. Let's see hey, if I can. Para. Talks. Para. What? Your your dear darling has said if you wake up thing two, she's gonna stab you. Oh. That's fair. Okay. Tarox. 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 Um, we have a driver for the Tarox. <laughs> we have a we have a very depressed uh uh passenger for the back of the Tarox. Okay. One former <laughs> scribe that's sitting on the bench in the back. He's unhappy with everything. As he does. As he does. Um somewhere I've got oh here we go. Here here's another one. Um the final member of the band here we have uh we we have one chromanovan here that I have not finished yet. Chromanovan. <laughs> so this is this is my side project at the moment. With the Note. jaunty hat. Oh yeah, Note it's got to have a fancy hat. You, you, that's how people know that you know you're you're ranked higher than them. That's how and and as I have as rank. I pointed out last week, I have not started painting yet, but here we have a calm. Colin! Com complete with burps. 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 burps to okay, the I'll make a frog. If I can find a frog, I'll make a frog, okay? <laughs> chat needs a frog. Frog is fine, chat. Don't worry. Where is frog? Okay, and here we go. Here is Tarox. 
Let's see if I can. I, there's no way I can get all of the Tarox in focus at once. It's okay. Because I I have like camera and then I have a macro spacer on it and like that's just not fucking possible for me to get all of it. But there we go. Because as it turns out, I don't own a pancake lens. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Well, that's okay. Warlax knows what I'm talking about. Don't yeah, you, Warlax? If you don't have a pancake lens, eh. do you have a waffle lens? Uh, I wish. If I had a waffle lens, I'd put hash browns in it, and then I'd like have real crispy hash brown pictures. I actually tried to buy one of those great big waffle irons, and like it came in with a coating all messed up. So, why does that this monkey says why does everything suddenly taste like purple, and I have a nosebleed? Uh, that's um, because you've been rubbing null oil on your gums. We we were told specifically no, and you did it anyway. And it, like. And guys, I hate to break it to you, but, you know, when we tell you not to do something, you can't be upset when you get a... Surprise! You guys can't hear that, but I had a button. Oh, no, can't hear that. <laughs> that we heard. I don't know why you can hear that one. Well, that's probably the most appropriate one for us to hear. <laughs> no, there's this one. I just an air horn. I just need an air horn in my life. Oh, I've okay. also got this one. Tell me these are like my instant.com things. No, uh, they are in my Road Connect app. But the okay. great thing is I can add more sounds to this. So, so you can go to my instance and get all the crazies? I guess, but right now I've got... Mace, you says you're being loud. That was probably the easiest transfer that I have ever done, and I fucking love the idea that was given to me. What idea? So, what do you uh, soak your transfers on so that they get soft? Water. Use a sponge. Okay. Place the transfer on top of a sponge... And let it soften. Okay. You will be able to pick it directly up off of the sponge. Put it wherever you need it. Uh, you put some Microsol down first so that it's nice and easy for it to go ahead and bend and shape itself however it needs. And then you have a transfer. Super fucking simple. <laughs> All right. I will remember that. This monkey's yelling tweezers, tweezers, <sighs> use tweezers. Yeah, but tweezers work good when I'm not using like a uh, a a transfer that's like a micron across. Hey, and uh, also anybody, like a what? If anybody's got a moment, check the uh check the holler. Yeah, I is see that it. red? Am I is That it, is, is red in all? fact red. What? It is black okay. and it is red. It is. Okay, like I'm really just guessing because I can't see where I've painted very well at all, <laughs> and I'm, and I've got like all of the lights aimed but, aimed at wait, me. Let's see, let's like, see if I can do it real quick. I can't see where I painted at all. Yeah, Para. Uh huh. Also in the holler, uh, you will see what my sponge is, which is just the pluck foam. Yeah. From Battle Foam. Now, I will show you this real quick, because, in fact, for dry brush... Oh, let, yeah, okay, so that's not mold. Uh, I don't think. I don't think that's mold. It doesn't smell like mold. I think it's just dirt. Um, So, uh, that's a kitchen sponge. It's got paint on it. That's what it is. It's paint. Um, So, that's a kitchen sponge in a plastic container that I uh, dab my dry brush onto for such things. So, that'll yeah. work. Press X to doubt. All right, folks. Um, we are at the end of the night. It is 11 o'clock here in the central time zone. Uh, this has been a, frankly, not entirely insane episode of this show, but more than its share of fucking silly. Uh, so, I, none of that was my fault, actually. No, no, tonight uh, was mostly me. 
I mean, there there was you did read Pre- uh, Harry Potter in schools. Pre- press X for doubt. <laughs> yes, but he was asked to read Harry Spot Harry Potter in schools. Ari, you're a warlock, Ari. Yeah, warlock, Ari. Pistol you also didn't even know your no parents, crash. but they were warlocks too, Ari. You're a bloody warlock. Pistol pointed out, no crashes. No crashes because oh, uh, gosh. water-based internet as opposed to uh, toast-based internet, as right. uh, as ducks pointed out. Yeah, it was uh, the previous deep-fried toast transfer system, uh-huh. and that was flawed. But it was an alpha system, so now he's getting internet through water hose, and just... it is more reliable. Yeah, as it and turns it's out, pressure. your it's uh, pressure you, internet too. Your, your internet uh, uh, service provider should not be called full English breakfast. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, yeah, that's your thing. Him, that. That's just so, a good strict. Um, so, random side note. Random I side note, think, folks. I I still think that pogo stick infantry with satchel charges is not a bad idea. I think it's perfectly viable. Well, what is their I, role? Well, uh, one, they get boing, clear... boom. <laughs> boing boom, boing, boing boom, boing boom, and and Tex invented pogo stick shotgun. So, shotgun pogo stick infantry. Just saying. So what you're saying is this is Van Zant's version of jump infantry. I'm. Oh. Uh, you might as um... well jump. jump, jump. Go ahead. <laughs> Bill, I drew you up short on that, Ducks. <laughs> huh. Yes. Yes, they are. Let's just go with yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, and, right? Yes, yes and. and. All right, if, folks. If there's... Go ahead. Finish up. I was going to say, I'm not good at many things, but improv is one of the things that I do, even when I shouldn't. <laughs> Well, everybody, we want to say thank you for coming by the Numeric Workshop tonight. We're still not sure why you're here, but we're glad you are. Yes, we why are. are you and, here? Re- and remember, ladies and gentlemen, for your local Detroit Red Teeth. That's right. Thank you for local... all the bits, the subs, and everything. You guys shower us with love all the time, and it's we appreciate <clears throat> it. Uh, Even j- if we don't understand it, we appreciate it. Cookie and gentlemen, can I take us out with red teeth, red Red teeth, teeth, red teeth, teeth, red teeth, red teeth. I would like to say yes, but I need to say one more thing. You're all sorted into Hecklepeck. Now let's get the fuck out of here.